Too many quarantine snacks got your clothes shrinking? Don't worry, I got you, sis. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Someone requested that I do kind of like these vintage riding pants and I was like, eh. But when I saw these pants on the Kimmy store, if you guys haven't checked out this store, definitely check it out. I'll put the link in the description box. I love so many of the pieces and as a matter of fact, one of the pieces was the yellow piece that was on the list. And today we're gonna kind of make these particular pants right here. I call them balloon pants and if you guys remember when we did our runway review we talked about the ties on the ankles being super super big all over the runway this year look at the um, ankles look at the ankles of the pants you're gonna see that more and more um, like kind of baggier pants with a cinched ankle so look for that cinch, cinched ankle and again you'll see it here on these denim and then this one has a vest so we're also going to do that so it's going to be kind of like a two for one so if you don't even want to do the balloon pants but you just want to learn how to take your wide legs and put ties on them at the end I'll put a timestamp. you can learn that as well so let's get right into it all right, I have my two pairs of linen pants here or linen blend. The ones that are gonna be the main pair, I'm going to go ahead and take the whole seam out all the way from the top to the bottom and also cut the waistband open. If the waist actually fits you, then don't cut the waistband open. Just open it up on the sides and leave that intact. I wish it fit, but it doesn't. You guys saw that. So we're gonna go ahead and take this loose and I'll do both sides. All right, so I have this one apart. Now let's work on the second pair. So I'm predominantly gonna use the fabric from the front two panels that's gonna run down the sides and make that um, kind of rider pants look. And then I'm also going to take off some of the waistband as well. All right, so now I've gone as far as I can go with my scissors. Taking apart pants. Upcycling was not the thing to get into if you don't like seam ripping, and I cannot stand seam ripping, so I don't know how I ever got into this because there's a lot of deconstruction that you have to do in order to upcycle. So I don't know how I ever found myself enjoying this so much. And I'm also gonna take these pleats out because I don't need them. That's the key to seam ripping is you have to be patient, otherwise you'll rip through some stuff. So now I have a piece of waistband that is actually probably big enough for what I need uh, for the whole pair. I could cut this in half and add it. Um, I probably don't need the other side. But I'm also, I definitely want to cut off the other front panel as well because I do need that. And I'm just gonna simply fold these in half and I'm gonna try to get as much out of these as possible. Since this is the hem, that's the bottom, I'm gonna preserve as much of that as possible because it's gonna be tied at the ankles. I just really try, wanna try to get as much curve out of this area right here as possible. And then of course up at the top, at the very top, is where I'm just adding in for my waist. So I don't wanna to take too much off of that, but I wanna bring it in enough where I am getting a good amount of curve down on that hip area and then just let it naturally taper in as it goes down. And I think I'm gonna leave that like that, just get that curve let it taper in a little bit and go ahead and cut that. So when I open it up, that's what I have. Now, once I get this cut out, I'm going to try to get that one to match and we'll see. But these actually need to be two pieces. So we're gonna fold each of these in half and then cut it up the fold line. All right, and you do that for both pieces. And then we can go ahead and go to the sewing machine and sew the curved side closed. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. And share this video so everyone will know all the amazing stuff going on here. All right, so here's our two pieces. I did go and iron them. All right, we're gonna lay the pants flat with the good side out. And then we can take our extra pieces, lay it on top so that the good side is going to the good side. And I'm actually gonna need to open up this song. Um, and I am going to sew first the fronts together. All right, and once you have that side connected, the front seam, then you can flip these inside out and sew the back seam. Then I'm gonna try it on and I see that I have about an inch that I can take it in on the sides to make it fit really well in the waistband. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take that in and then I can also add in the extra waistband. So I'll connect the end of the waistband 
turn it over right side out, put it on top of the new pants and then sew it down. I'm just gonna do an outside top stitch. I'm not going to technically do these back the same way that they were. We'll fight like no other every day. The last thing I'm going to do is make some straps for the ankles. I ended up with two three and three quarter inch wide pieces and I am just going to take them, fold them in half longwise, sew up one end, sew down the long side and leave one end open so that I can turn them inside out. All right, so I have my two strips. I turn them right side out and I iron them flat. And now I'm gonna connect them to the pan. You can also see that I have a hem, so when I go and do this, I will also finish the seam with the serger and then hem the edge as long as I can because I want them as long as possible. Then just right on this side seam, I'm going to take the half line of this, put it on the pants and just top stitch it to the side. That way, if it comes a loose, I don't lose my tie. And if you're interested in upcycle classes, I do have monthly upcycle classes with the highest level membership of my membership group. So hit that join button below to learn more. And if you're looking for a free option, I do have a Facebook group where it's just a whole host of other upcyclers that share their before and afters and get help when they get stuck, as well as even share local resources. So definitely check the description box for that link. All right, so let's see how it turned out. Get you out of your comfort zone. Cause I need more of the truth. I think these are super cute. Linen is like the bane of my existence sometimes because it's like you want it to press it, to iron it, and then as soon as you do, it gets wrinkled again. But on the other hand, it's like God's gift because it's like no matter how much you wrinkle it, it's linen, it's supposed to be wrinkled. So I, I don't know, like I don't know. But I, I really do like the silhouette, especially with the power shoulders. It, it's doing something good right here. It's, it's really doing something good. I'm enjoying it. So yeah, definitely let me know what you think in the comments below and if you would ever do this. And honestly guys, if you don't want so much of that silhouette on the side because I understand that's not going to look good on everybody's body shape. You could just add just a slight curve and give the same silhouette depending on whether you have hips or not. I don't have hips so this was a good silhouette for me to make the illusion of hips but if you already have hips and you just want to uh, wear a pair of wide legs and cinch in that ankle it would look hot as well. And definitely I have a host of other videos for you to watch right here including this dress. Yes this is a dress. You definitely want to go watch that and other videos and if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye